so literally you guys have been spamming me for what seems like months now to make a jaeger operator lore video and guess what the wait will be worth it because today i have a fantastic and great video for you guys on team rainbow's most picked operator jaeger we're going to talk about jaeger's childhood how he joined team rainbow and all the amazing things he's done in his life along with the challenges of his autism and how that affects him as well before we get into this great lore story i want to remind you guys that if you are enjoying the video to please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already those two single acts will help me out tremendously in this insane youtube algorithm so thank you so much i really do appreciate it let's get right into the video okay so let's start things off as we always do with where and when jaeger was born so Jaeger's real name is actually Marius Streicher, and he was born on March 9th in Dusseldorf, Germany. Now, do we have anybody watching the video with the same birthday as Jaeger? Do we have any March 9th viewers, or do you know anybody who has a birthday of March 9th? Let me know in the comments. Marius was born into an honestly depressing, boring, small family that really didn't interact with him very much unless it was to teach him about mechanics. Jaeger was actually raised by his uncle, not his mom or dad. Now, while researching for the video, I couldn't find a clear reason on why he wasn't raised with his mom and dad, his parents. And it's honestly kind of sad because he was deprived of his mother maternal figure in life and was pretty much only raised by his honestly fussy and grouchy uncle. If anyone can find out why he was practically abandoned by his parents, please do let me know in the comments and I would really be interested to find out. So throughout Jaeger's childhood, we see him struggle with social interactions, probably due to his autism, but also probably in fact, because his uncle didn't really bring much company around the house. So he never really had a chance to build up those strong social cues that we as humans desperately need. Jaeger's uncle was a mechanic for the BPOL or BPOL aviation group which is a federal law enforcement agency for the German government. This meant that Jaeger was around engines and motors from an early age into childhood, pioneering into his fascination with machinery. His uncle bonded best with Jaeger when he was teaching him about how to build and manage these machines, but Jaeger quickly mastered that and wanted more challenges in his life. With such an affinity for complex machinery, his uncle saw the absolute amazing potential in Marius and encouraged him to go to college for aeronautical engineering. After Marius graduated high school, he quickly enrolled into the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology. There, he would put his skills to the test on achieving a bachelor's in science and aerospace engineering, something he's been really working for. The thing with Jaeger though, is that he was used to the easygoing life with his uncle, that when he was introduced to the strict academic form of the university that he was at, it made him extremely uncomfortable. Although he was actually doing great in school and was proving he knew his stuff, like his grades were good, he would often cause trouble. He had a tendency to have these outlandish antics where he was probably trying to entertain himself instead of doing schoolwork. Well, going to school wasn't all bad for Jaeger because he would soon discover one of his true passions in life. He learned how much he truly enjoyed flying and becoming a pilot. He would spend long amounts of time with the other pilots learning as much as he could from them this was honestly his true passion the next chapter in jaeger's life was full of joy for him because he got to achieve his goal of flying and doing what he loves private corporations sought him out but jaeger eventually decided to join the bpol aviation group which, if you didn't know, is the same department his uncle was from as well. He joined as a helicopter technician, and guess what? He absolutely loved it. Being a helicopter technician gave Jaeger a unique set of complex mechanical challenges, which honestly he is all for. Now, he loves dissecting and finding out the problems to these amazing machines. And the best part is, the fact that he is even allowed to pilot these helicopters 
and gives him the honor of serving his country. His uncle was so proud of him, something Jaeger has been yearning for his whole life. But almost immediately upon recruitment into the BPOL, Jaeger started designing and inventing complex defense systems for the division. This is the part of Jaeger's legacy that would change the battlefield forever. Against all odds and all the people telling him that he could not make it, Jaeger pioneered the prototype for a ground-based active defense system or ADS for short. This is groundbreaking technology as soldiers will now be able to carry these lightweight portable ADS devices to protect themselves from projectiles. Now, ADS systems have been used since the last decade, but really only on battleships and tanks. Typically weighing over 100 kilograms, which is easily above 220 pounds, they were designed for bigger ballistics though. But Jaeger was the first person to make a portable and more importantly, accurate ADS device. Simply amazing. This gained the attention of the GSG-9, which is an extremely renowned police force for Germany, and they swiftly recruited Jaeger into their ranks. Jaeger was with the GSG-9 for a long time, mainly specializing in anti-piracy specialties in the Indian Ocean. The deal of a lifetime would soon be given to Jaeger as none other than Harry, the director of Team Rainbow, or now commonly referred to more as Six, caught wind of Jaeger and his accomplishments. He specifically looked for recruits in the GSG-9 and Mr. Marius was one of the people recruited into Team Rainbow along with specialist Bandit, IQ, and Blitz. Upon recruitment into Team Rainbow, a psychological evaluation needs to be done to make sure that cadets are a good fit for Team Rainbow. Harry interviewed Jaeger early in the morning, early in the morning. Since Jaeger has a hard time reading social cues, he really isn't the best at holding a good conversation without going off on different topics frequently. Like the first part of the evaluation between Jaeger and Harry was mostly spent on Jaeger raving about this documentary he saw the night before about scientists searching for new antibiotics. He loved the documentary so much that he texted Doc, Twitch, and Finca the link to the documentary during the interview. Mind you, <laughs> again, this was early in the morning, so I'm just sure that they were all thrilled to wake up to a text from Jaeger over a stupid documentary. <laughs> Jaeger also was going off on more stuff he really loves and enjoys to Harry during the interview. Stuff like how he's fascinated on NASA sending a probe to the sun, new discoveries about the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex, robotics, and also artificial intelligence. Now, this wasn't exactly a formal interview by any stretch of the imagination, <laughs> uh, but it did give Harry a chance to see what makes Jaeger happy the most and the things he likes, which is honestly pretty important. Harry did note that Jaeger genuinely enjoys everyone on Sea Rainbow and sees them all as equal family. Again, he didn't have much of a family growing up, so the other operators on Team Rainbow kind of filled that family void he just truly never had. Harry says that Jaeger is always worrying about them, like if so-and-so is doing okay after the loss of their dog, or if an operator received the birthday card he sent out, stuff like that. He genuinely cares for his squad mates, and honestly, that makes me feel pretty good. The device evaluation for Jaeger was actually completed by himself this time. Mira did weigh in a little bit on it, but all Jaeger really had to do was better fine tune his prototype into the ADS MKIV Magpie, which we all know and love today. It took him a long time, but he finally did get it right. And it's kind of funny during the evaluation, Mira tries to remind Jaeger to Stop talking about random stuff like movies and get back on track to the evaluation. If you guys haven't seen the evaluation, it's kind of funny. I recommend it. It's just a super quick read in the bio. Go ahead and read it. Also, at the end of it, Jaeger says, My gear and my operator strategy will, as Pulse always says, continue to cause many salty tears for our opponents. End quote from Jaeger. Now, did you guys know that Jaeger is apparently the mechanic? that restored the Supermarine Spitfires on the Herefer map 
Here's how the planes there. We can see a plaque with Jaeger's name on it in front of each of them. Now, to be real with you guys, that's pretty damn cool if you ask me. Jaeger single-handedly restored these planes. Like, that's pretty cool. So, in summary, Jaeger is actually a, just a really good guy and with a hint of autism, has a hard time communicating with his emotions or has a hard time reading social cues. Now, he really did have a good life and he did a lot of stuff, especially with the GSG-9. He did a lot. I didn't necessarily want to go over every single operation he's been on because I feel like it be pretty repetitive talking about how great Jaeger is and how athletic and you know how accurate he is i didn't want the video to get too long so there's that i'm sorry well i hope you guys liked this Jaeger lord video and hope that it delivered on one of team rainbow's most beloved operators you guys have been asking for it for a while so did you enjoy the video i have a whole operator lord playlist you should check out if you did because if you did like this Jaeger operator lord video and this is your first time visiting the channel odds are you're gonna like the other operator lord videos so go ahead and check out the playlist then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the notifications if you're new. Now, with all that being said, Jeppy out!